So glioblastomas, like many other types of cancers, um, are very energetic. Um, they use a lot of glucose to drive their cellular processes to divide the division. The classic ketogenic diet is about 90% fat, 3% carbs, and about 7% protein. So the ketogenic diet sort of has a two-prong approach. Number one, it reduces the fuel source for the tumor cells, so they're just not as robust or proliferating as quickly. But number two, the increase in ketones also causes, has its own anti-cancer effect. The ketogenic diet um, is very difficult to implement, in particularly in an adult population. So the big restriction in the ketogenic diet is the low carbohydrates. So we developed a diet that could have carbohydrates, rather than being at 3%, were at 10 to 20% of your caloric intake. And then we supplemented that with a particular type of oil called a medium chain triglyceride. What happens is you actually mimic the same physiological features as the ketogenic diet. Glucose levels go down and ketones level go up. So one of the things that we did in the lab is we looked at the, if it, we mimicked the ketogenic diet in a tissue culture dish. So we just cultured cells using the sort of same glucose levels you would get in a person, same ketone levels you'd get in a person. And we found that it slowed down the proliferation rate of the tumor cells. The other thing that was exciting is we actually found that it was able to target the cancer stem cell population. And this is the population that is believed to not only initiate, but also drive long-term tumor growth. So, so this is the size of the tumor. It's very large. And when treated with the supplemental high-fat, low-carb diet, the tumor is much smaller. So we found it would double the lifespan um, of the recipients. I don't think that we've ever envisioned that this was going to be a cure. Um, for uh, glioblastomas or for any type of cancer. But it could be an adjuvant treatment that you do together with standard of care treatments or together with other types of treatments to increase the, you know, the efficacy um, of the overall treatment protocol.